da, da, da. Da, da, da. So the last detail will show, and then I'll, I'll show you how to access all these details if you want to play around with them on your own time, uh, is the top of wall. So here we have um, the wall built up to as high as the masonry is going to go. And what I want you to notice is that we have the yellow air barrier material up and over and then around the parapet side. Okay, so it's it's continuous and it's going to connect with the air barrier or the vapor barrier of the roof uh, for that compatibility across the envelope. All right, so we have a sheet metal flashing. Again, something rigid so that it doesn't sag into the cavity. Now, depending on how heavy the coping stones are, uh, if they're if they're relatively thin and not that wide, maybe the mortar will support them that you set them in. But if they're very heavy, you may need to have additional shims to support the coping stones. Here the coping goes on. This is a split tail anchor that fits into the kerf uh, or the saw cut into the coping. And by the way, this should be filled with sealant at the time you insert the split tail anchor into it so that water doesn't get in there and freeze. The split tail, you know, this should be a sealant around this joint as well because you're, you're, you're drilling right through the flashing. The, the flexible patch here, this rubberized asphalt is what the green is intended to represent. There's a certain amount of healing that, 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 that kind of closes in and around, uh, around the, 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 the screw penetration. Um, but that's an important detail. Let's make sure that any, because look, we're almost, we're almost flat here. We, we should be sloped 15 degrees minimum, but still, even if this is sloped 15 degrees, it's snow and rain are just gonna sit right on top of this. And especially at the joints in between, and by the way, the joints in between these coping pieces should be sealant joints, not mortar joints uh, to resist moisture. Uh, so we really want this flashing to stop moisture from getting down into the wall. So this joint here should be a sealant joint. And then we have our roof assembly, similar to what we saw before. 